Welcome everybody to the Genesis Mindset and in today's episode it's a bit of a self-reflection day and also a forward-looking day. So someone in my comments yesterday was asking about price predictions. I've never done price predictions and I'm not going to say that I'm going to be good at it but I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to just try what it's like and see how close I can be because uh, I'm actually I'm actually really excited. I was looking back on some of my older videos about a month or two ago and one particular video where I was really seeing where the market psychology was and where we were in this in the scale of the market psychology. And I had this one hour, it's about a one hour video. And to be honest, it's one of my favorite videos because it really talks about uh, the dynamics of the, the global energy that that is the market and that your consciousness is tied to that global energy, which is the energy of the universe and how this actually interacts and creates this market dynamic. And it didn't, it didn't get a lot of views and it was quite long. Um, but just what I was talking about and now seeing in the future, I can look back and say, Hey, I was really onto it. And it, and it really is giving me a lot of conviction in my positions and what I'm doing and how I'm going about things. So if you do want to check it out, please check that video out. And so, like I said, this is a self-reflection day, but the community vibe, man, it, it's so good at the moment. Of course, yes, everything is always good when there's green candles. It's like, yes, of course, we, it's, it's, it's literally just as Tommy says, people respond to the candles. But having said that, it's so good to see my life is awesome lit. I love, I love lit. His vibe is so contagious. He's so positive. He's a life coach and it's like, man, he knows, he knows what he's doing. Like he's been doing it for 20 years and I just love him, man. I love his vibe. He's he, the, the, the two streams that he's done in the last couple of days, RG3 funding gym yesterday and today with crypto coffee. I mean, the caliber of these guys, all of them, all of them, I respect all of them. And it really makes me think like, what an amazing community that we actually are in. I actually feel so blessed to be in a community with these types of guys. Like you look at crypto coffee Crypto Coffee just continues and continues and continues to pump out content. The consistency of his attitude, the consistency of his his content, the consistency of everything that he does is like, these are the types of people that you want in your community. And these are the people that I really look up to and go, man, like, what an amazing character. And these guys really deserve everything that they get from the community. And they really deserve all the gains that they're going to make from this. So really massive respect to these guys. I loved that stream. I loved the one from yesterday as well. And, you know, the funding gym, Gary, he, he's, he's onboarding the Cardones. Like, oh, you know, we're all working together. This is something that RG3 was saying as well. RG3, love RG3. Same, same caliber of guy, like so much respect for these guys. Yes, he puts a show on with the pirate and all this, but if you look behind the mask, there's this super intelligent, super wise human being that's like, really, if you really listen to what he says, you can learn so much from RG3. And again, I'm just like, how how, is, how am I so blessed to be in a community like this with these types of people and just bringing that endless wisdom? And like I said, funding Jim's onboarding like Grant Cardone and just mixing in funding Jim like, Gary, I remember being in a in a stream a few, maybe a few weeks ago or a month or two ago, and like people were really ripping into him. I'm like, man, how that I was really offended by that because of anyone, Gary is like the epitome of networking. He's tr literally, literally traveling the world and and in, and onboarding people into this community. But we all have our own part and we can all look at each other and learn from each other. And we're all attracting different kinds of people into this community. And I'm just, again, the future is so bright for this community. The future is so bright for Pulse Chain, for Hex. I think it's, I think it, yeah, when things are good, yes, of course, the positivity is there, but there's still also the negativity. I mean, there's, there's this uh, interaction between the Tang Gang and Teddy Bear and they're really starting all this... Uh, it's almost like, I don't know, like some people are saying, oh, it's like a marketing thing. And maybe it is. I personally don't want to get involved with any of that. I, I really don't like the, the the energy that it puts out. But some people say it's good for the community. It creates attention. And I'm sure it does. But it's certainly something that I don't want to participate in. I Because I, I get really sucked into the negativity of it. And because people don't actually understand that when you actually put that negative energy out, it actually does sting. It actually does hurt. It actually does create, it's a cause and effect. So I don't want to be participating in that because I understand how the consciousness of the world, how the actual 
the mind. I understand how the mind works. I think a lot of, well, uh, yeah, I, I don't say this like arrogantly, just as a matter of fact, like a lot of people don't actually understand that. We all just think what's in our head is correct, but it's it's really just this, 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 you're just like a robot that's living this life and you're taking these pictures, you t- all the experiences that you have, you create this world inside of your mind. And then that world that you have from all those experiences, that's how you see everything in the world. So we're actually just living inside of our mind, not literally, but this is the matrix that they talk about. So I'm obviously really big into these. Meditation has really helped me come out of that. And so that's why as well, today's really very much a self-reflection day. One of my boys, Cryptic420, he, he pointed out, he's like, man, you, you're getting like really degenerate. And, I, and it really was like, oh man, I, I'm very delicate about wanting to portray the power of the mind. And yes, my plan, my plan is very like structured and I follow up, but my plan is also to adapt, to adapt to the circumstances and the circumstances are here for me to take the action. But now it's just like, okay, slow down, consolidate. It really hit me again. I'm like, I love I love Cryptic420. Love him. Love him to pieces, actually. Really awesome guy. And I hope one day to catch up with him as much as I hope one day to catch up with all these people through the Pulse Chain and Hex community. But it's really, again, the world showing me, Steve, slow down. And I'll be honest, uh, it, uh, like I run a meditation center and I'm all day working, all day. I I don't necessarily run meditation classes all day, but I'm just working on the computer, crypto, trying to build a better world. That's what I'm doing all day, every day. Marketing, videos, all this stuff. It's really just building towards this future from the moment I wake up at eight o'clock to the moment I go to bed, sometimes 10, 11, 12. Well, usually it's after midnight, one, two, three. It's always heading towards that direction. And when that happens, when I'm full of energy, I don't actually meditate because I'm like, I'm so full of energy. I don't need to meditate, but I'll go like a few weeks without it. And I can see just like if you don't wash yourself, my mind starts to get dirty. And I see everybody's mind is dirty. We're all like this. Our mind gets dirty, gets filled with crap. And then that's how we actually respond to the world. What we have in there is how we talk, think and act. So I really have to slow down and clean my mind. So I have meditated Uh, but I only need like 10 minutes these days, which is something that I really enjoy. I only need like 10 minutes, half an hour. I also have a gratitude reflection diary. I think this is a very important part of maintaining your mindset. Every day I try to write something that I'm grateful for. I write it to, well, here is mother and here is father. This is how I see the universe. This is how I see God. And God to me is the mother and father. I mean, just really think about it. Uh, I hope this doesn't offend uh, people who have the conception that God is a he, but I, I don't think that actually makes any logical sense. Everything in the universe actually comes from a mother and a father. So why wouldn't the universe itself also be the mother and father? This is something that I was enlightened to many years ago before doing any meditation. And I've had that conviction in my heart ever since. Um, and through this meditation, I've actually gotten closer and closer to returning to that state of mind. So I know that this is probably a lot of um, maybe some people might consider it to be uh, like pointless information. But again, this is the Genesis mindset. So this is really about sharing these things that I feel are much more important than money, much, much more important than money. Money is just like a consequence for actually getting here. What are we actually born to do? Why are we actually even here? Why are we alive? We're alive so we can live forever. We can return to our true parents and live forever. That's the whole point of life. We're not, we're not born to just live and die. We're born to live forever, but we have to actually become that existence while we're alive. You won't find it when you die. There is no heaven after death. You have to find the heaven now. You have to die now in your mind, just like what Jesus did. Jesus died on the cross. What did that mean? It means that he died inside of his mind. He completely surrendered himself to God. And in that instance, he became one with God. I mean, he was obviously before that, but He was one with it even before his physical body disappeared. So Jesus died in his mind because he had no self. He was just one with the father. All right. So a little bit of a little bit of well, what I consider to be like mind alpha, like spiritual alpha. Just because somebody asked me, I thought this would be a bit of fun. I've never done this. I don't have any experience with this whatsoever. So take this with a grain of salt. This is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. Don't hold this against me at the end of the year and say, oh, it's nowhere near what you said. I really have no idea. This is really just a guess. I'm not a TA guy. This is just something that I'm seeing. And I think as more data comes out or more data comes out, then I'll be able to make a more educated guess. 
But somebody was asking, what do you think the price of a tropa is going to be at the end of the year? And Maria, 414 Dev Bay, shout out to you, Bay. I love you, Bay. She said that the Atropa token is designed to outperform PDI. So it's designed to outperform the stables. So that's extremely exciting. I think I think I saw some of the PDI guys get a bit upset by that, but it's like, guys, like imagine the X's that you're getting from here to a dollar. And then imagine that again in a tropa, like this, this ecosystem, this it can just keep growing. And shouldn't it? Shouldn't it keep growing? We want the we want the stable coins to, to stabilize. No one knows how that's going to be yet. We're all just speculating. But if it does get to that, we do want the ecosystem to continue to grow. Okay. So now what I've done is I've just extrapolated. So this is all just based on market cap. And again, there's no Elliott wave. There's no, there's no like TA science to this. There's nothing like that. This is just like complete. It's complete. Just one on one, just one plus one equals two equals three. So where we are here. So we had this big pump and with this big pump, we got up to about, well, actually the peak was a $30 million market cap. So in actuality, this is actually already probably like very inaccurate so i might actually i might actually add because i here it's 22 22 million but actually it it goes up to 30 million then it came down so it went up for three months came down for three then i'm predicting it's going to go up for three months and it will double so i'm just basing this on just doubling just simple things i just remember richard saying uh oh, hex doubled then it doubled then it doubled then it doubled so i was like okay well maybe i'm i'll just use that idea of like the doubling of the market cap so i've just doubled it and then again down for three months again up for three months and doubled it so from 22 to 44 to 88 to 164 but in actuality it should be it should be 30 to 60 to 90 to 180 so just you know what i'll, I'll take that up to i'll take that up to 190 so where is here we go 190 Oops. Wait, that's not right. 180, sorry. So 30, 60. Oh, doubling. Wait, yeah. 30, 60, 120, 240. <sighs> I'm learning. <laughs> that's why I take everything as I say with a grain of salt. So I'm really glad that you can see that I'm no expert here. So you can't go and blame me if these things don't work out. So... So then I'll I'll shift this one up as well. So this is so this would be 120. Okay. So 120. So then by the end of the year, then it would be if it just follows, if it just follows this exact, it would have this pullback here. So where would the pullback be? So the pullback, again, just pure, unadulterated pleb guesses. Nothing, nothing magical about this. So it's going to be in a pullback area. So let's say it pulls back down to around, okay, let's say 50 million market cap by the end of the year, which to be honest, sounds extremely conservative if it was up to 30. It sounds extremely, ridiculously conservative. So um, now let's just then, so then, so this is in the market cap and this is to USD value. So this is a tropa to Pulse Chain. So now I'm going to get a price range. And I'm just going to take it from the very bottom to this area. So that we'll use this number. So hang on, I'll just copy that there to the very bottom. And then I'll copy it again and I'll go to the very top. So to our 240 area. Okay. All right. So if it's in a down if it's in a downtrend by the end of the year and then or if it's in an uptrend or leading into the new year the peak of the next uptrend into the new year these are the two prices that i'm going to look at so for the first one uh what do we got here so 141 all right i'm just going to write these num actually matter of fact i'm just going to quickly take a little little screenshot here so i don't have to remember these numbers okay now, oh, what happened here? So my computer's really starting to struggle. Ooh. Okay, so now we're going to go to the price. And I'm just going to do the same. So now I'm going to add those 
So yeah, as I was saying in yesterday's video, phase one, phase two, phase three. So now we're in the second round of pump, which is phase three of the Atropa ecosystem. These are just, yeah, it's just me like trying to, trying to clarify and title things in a particular way so I can get a certain kind of understanding. Okay, all right. So now our conservative guess. So let's go, let's add this to basically the end of December. So December, where are we? 30, here we go. All right, so here's our conservative guess. So how do I, okay. So now if I double click this and change those percentages, Ah, damn, it's going to be a bit tricky to do that, as a matter of fact. So, all right, so what have we got here? So 141204. All right, uh, actually, let me just pause this and I'll add this in here. From these current prices... Oh, that's going to have to change. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So it's it's kind of close enough. So from the current price in USD value, by the end of the year, this is why I think it's extremely conservative, about a 5x. So 392% is uh like it's, well, let's call it 400%, which ends up being a 5x. So this, if it was the bullish scenario, is a... 25x. So I think that is ridiculously conservative for this ecosystem. So a, the bullish scenario is 22 cents by the end of the year and 4 cents. So at the moment, it's 0.8 cents. So I think that is wildly, wildly conservative. But that's just based on the market cap. That's based on the market cap going up to what was the numbers here of like the peak? And this is just doubling. So it was like 240 million market cap, which I think is so ridiculously conservative because here we go up to here. So 244 million. So I think this is ridiculously conservative because we're talking about Teddy being a billion dollar market cap, which I think is not out of the, it's certainly not out of the question. I mean, it really depends. It can go to a 50 million market cap now within this next push. Now the Atropa ecosystem has all these tokens that are filtering into it all this fake value, all these fake, this this like pretend volume, how much can this pretend volume filter into it to push it all up? I have no idea. So that's why I think this is extremely conservative. This is just some initial things. And this is just something where I can, I want to be able to now, I'll, pull, I'll stop this now. I want to be able to look back on this video and say, okay, how right was I? This This concept that I have about where the price can be is really just like the first the first attempt. I'm always about learning. I learn in the process. And this is something that I really resonate with Richard. He talked about this in SciVi where, well, actually, no, he talks about it in, uh, I think he talks about it in the highest of stakes where he's really just, the way that he learns is by doing. So when he came up with Hex was like, okay, this was the original idea for Hex. But as we were doing, all these things just started to like, basically like all the, the process led the way. The process led the way, aka what I call the universe, the universe leading the way. And then it ended up being this thing called Hex, which is this brilliant, genius, first truly decentralized thing, which basically destroys the entire financial ecosystem because it monetizes the time value of money. That's what he created. So it's this genius product. So I think this is just a first iteration. I'm going to develop this idea over time. This is just like, okay, this is my dumb, dumb, double, double, double. I want to now put it out to the community reach out to me on Twitter, actually reach out to me in the comment sections. What do you guys actually think about this kind of prediction? I think this is wildly conservative. I think there's no way that this is only going to do a 4X by the end of the year on a downtrend. I think it can do so much more. I think it has so much more potential. Uh, and oh, it's, it's it yeah, it's just crazy. Because for, for this to do a 4X means Pulse Chain is going to do a 4X because they're, they're pretty much like moving in, in they're inversely moving, but... The, the multiplications I think are going to be very similar. So what do you guys think? How would you actually work it out? What kind of metrics would you use? Help me out. 
help your boy out. What are we going to do? Let's let's do this together. And I'm and I'm going to continue to explore this in future videos. But you know, price predictions. Everybody loves this kind of stuff. This is an ultra conservative price prediction. So don't yell at me. It's really just again. It's really just a wild guess. It's nothing. There's nothing more to it than that. I'm not like a technical master, whiz kids, market market guru. I'm about the mind. I'm about the mind. That's my that's my talent. So. Thank you very much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that little prediction. And yes, super bearish. Let's let's be way, way better than this. So man, pulse chain. Let's keep going. Atropa, let's keep going, baby.